Here you have amazing city, right on the cutting edge. And this is a cutting edge building with a cutting edge plant. Yeah, the constraints which people will see are negative. What I think you do with constraints is you turn them upside down and something exciting can come out of it. And if they're properly understood, they'll give a unique form to your building. We've always joked that this is the tallest 20, 20 story building in the world. Um, and it's tall because it's a building about volume. So actually it includes seven villages. It's not just a series of floor plates, but it's a, it's a social environment. This idea of the commercial village is not just a design concept, but it's something I think uh, corporations will become more and more attracted to. From Murbeck's side, they always realised what an important site it was, I think, how important it was to put a great piece of architecture on it. You know, Chifley Square itself is really the only piece of public space in what you might call downtown Sydney. And this site, which has a great orientation, it faces that square, it's facing north so it gets the sun, it is bounded by um, two streets, so it's a promontory. The whole ground floor of this building is for Sydney side, and that means it can really engage with the city. HFE Square has now achieved a design rating M6 star Green Star, which basically places it in a very, very small percentile in terms of highly sustainable, world-class leading buildings within the Sydney CBD and also the wider Australia. Your client has to be good to build a good building. You can't just be a good architect. And it's given the opportunity to make something pretty special. Uh, certainly there's a, there's a Rogers flavour, the exposed red bracing, the articulation of the structure. I like buildings that unwind as you get closer. You get to the centre of the building and you've gone through all these stages, all these layers, and I, that's very important to us. It's finally added a touch of colour <laughs> to the heart of the CBD. The best way for us to achieve sustainability is to build buildings which are enhancing the public realm, which, which will be sustainable, which will be desirable for people to use for years and years to come. It says a lot for Mervac's sort of foresight to see that, of course, when you build, you have to think about the future, what is coming. I think the result is more than we could have expected. It's something that we could all be really proud of.